Okay, it is uh, May 1st, and this is going to be, I guess, a, a miniature grow log episode. Not so much a grow log, more just look at these two plants. And the situation was that we, not we, me, I'm not trying to blame you guys for this, uh, but the situation is that we were having, <laughs> we were having yellowing on... Um, the plant and uh it, it wasn't it wasn't looking good and the yellowing was hitting the leaves and they kind of looked like this they kind of looked like this but a little bit more dramatic i actually have some of the leaves i left them in the in the bottom there so pretty yellow this one's pretty mushy so it's a couple days old and we just kept getting these this, this yellowing and um this one still mushy a couple days old you can tell how old it is because the crunch you yeah. oh that makes me want some chicken, like some Popeyes. Anyway, we got this one here that got three milliliters of CalMag, and this one here that got three milliliters of BioThrive, which is more, more uh, well balanced nutrient. It's a four three three, so it's a, you know pretty even profile. Because um, my thought was that maybe the yellowing leaves are from. You know, it's either from some type of nutrient thing or CalMag. And so they usually say it's nitrogen. The problem is the yellowing leaves. So I gave this one nitrogen. I gave this one CalMag just kind of as some, you know, whatever testing. And this is the result. So this one, it's my foot. Uh, this one is the one that received BioThrive. And it looks pretty good. I would say that the yellowing has stopped or at least slowed down because it only lost four leaves over the course of a week and some green leaves and some yellow leaves, but only that many leaves over the course of a week. Whereas it seemed like it was progressing pretty fast. So I think the nitrogen did help it. And there's still nitrogen burn on some leaves, but I think once that's there, that could be from last week, that could be from two months ago. You know, who knows when that's, uh, but this is the type of leaf that we don't want because we got yellow, we got symptoms of not enough nitrogen and we got sy symptoms of nutrient burn. So, uh, I definitely, I definitely need to dial in this plant a lot more if I'm going to hope to, to do good work here, but the next generation will, will be better. Uh, let's take a quick look at the peppers on this plant. There's some beasts, honestly. That's a beast. That's a beast. It's not that much of a beast, but it's uh, it's about the size of my thumb. Uh, let's see if I can find something that people will recognize. Sharpie. People recognize Sharpies. So this is a Sharpie. This is a green Sharpie. You can buy this. It's one of the thinner Sharpies, but whatever. Uh, but next to it, that's an indication of the size. About half a Sharpie cap. These two, you know, again, maybe a third of a Sharpie cap. Let's try not to mess these up. This one, this is the one I wanted to share. This thing's beautiful. Look at that. Big body, nice little tail on it. Beautiful. So that's my favorite pepper on this plant. Uh, but in any case, I gave this plant and this plant just pH 6.5 water today. Uh, so we're just going to let it ride this week and see what happens. So I guess the thing is that if it is, new, if it is nitrogen deficiency, we should see more yellowing of leaves on this plant because we didn't give it another bit of nitrogen. Unless it had enough nitrogen from what I gave it last week. Who knows? Uh, and then this one, I'm seeing a lot of wrinkling. So I'm wondering if this is, this means too much CalMag, this bubbliness and this curling. I've seen this time and time again. And again, I got to go look back at these videos, but uh, it was pretty quick and it's on the new leaves, which they say to look at the new growth. And that will, that will sh tell you uh, a lot about the plant. So gave this thi thing three milliliters CalMag. And in a week, it seems to have 
this weird bubbling all throughout and curled leaves. So perhaps, perhaps the cow mag had something to do with that. And this one's still um, no peppers. Well, oh, 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 we got one. We got him. We got him. One pepper. I do really want to cut these spindly branches, but I have a feeling that they are not a good idea to cut because they might cause the plants to start focusing on branch growth again. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some reading. So just to close this video up, uh, look at what kind of crisped off the plants this week. Fair amount of yellow leaves, some still mushy that we talked about earlier, some a little bit crispy, some still green. So that's that's interesting too, because why is it that some of them are yellow and falling off and some of them are green and falling off? Another question. And then all this here, you can see all these little flowers, buds, all just they're kind of crispy but when they're like this they honestly kind of crisp up on the vine and i i'm assuming a lot of these came from the same one so i think they came from i think they came from this one they must have come from this one because it doesn't have as many peppers um, and if I look inside, I mean, I can see one right now. You see that? Right there. That's a crispy boy. Um, can we see any more? Yeah, right there. Crispy boy. So perhaps, uh, perhaps juicing your plant with cow mag is not the way. Perhaps juicing your plant with anything is not the way. But we'll find out.